<laughs> Thursday's mail. Playtime's over for the candy shops of Oxford Street, Leo. Well, let's hope so. So trading standards and police officers have raided souvenir toy and sweet shops on Oxford Street suspected of dealing in counterfeit goods. <laughs> so the council said it seized more than 14,000 items yesterday with an estimated value of £215,000 from two shops. I mean, bear in mind, I've seen the, the prices in these shops. That's about three packets of M&Ms. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> they're, they're really overpriced. Uh, and some stores have also been accused of evading taxes, up to, up to £8 million in business rates. So they've got this scam where they open a shop, don't pay the rates, close it down, open another yeah. one, and sublet it and all the rest of it. And they, they sell fake stuff. They sell fake, uh, fake Willy Wonka chocolate bars <laughs> and, and fake Rolexes. Hey, with no gold card inside. Yeah, yeah, no no chance. chance of winning a visit to the, to the factory. Who's buying a Rolex? <laughs> a shop you office? sure these are packed? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's great. Like, you know, I mean, a fool and their money. But apparently, um, they, they use TikTok to lure in children. They've been called, described right. as child child catchers. They use TikTok to lure children into yeah. the store, but the children then spend lots of money. Well, they are very vivid and, and hideous blights on the high street. But then again, Oxford Street has always been full of that. I cannot remember. I, mean, and I first went to Oxford Street in the 70s and was shocked by the depraved nature yeah. of most of the shop fronts and the I, offer. I always think they must be dodgy, because how can they afford the Oxford Street rent? Yeah. You've got, like, the Nike flagship store next to, like, UK Suites with a Z. Yeah. Like, <laughs> how are you affording it? And much, uh, much busier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it sort of reminds me of there's a Christmas tree shop near where I live, and I'm like, you can't make a viable business off just Christmas trees all year. So people are suspicious of that shop as well. So well, it's yeah. like cash converters, and I don't want this is... I, I make it clear, this is just my kind of impression of cash converters. I have no Terrible. evidence to... But I I always look at the like second-hand goods, and you might wonder whether they aren't being fenched. But let's mm. assume they've come there legitimately. They're really overpriced. I mean, they're like yeah. almost full full price for a, for a three-year-old iPad or a Yamaha keyboard. Yeah. It has that kind of wit. You're kind of thinking there's something to the business model. I'm not quite getting here. I, I don't think know what it is. Think it's going to be cheap because it's a cash converter. Yeah. And then they get in, so they, they buy it, and they don't right. realise it's they, cheaper on Amazon. Yeah, exactly. And you actually get a contract with it and everything yeah. else. But I do wonder sometimes with these things, well, obviously this is the case with these people, it's still, it's small beer, isn't it? 215 grand worth of vapes and fake Gucci phone cases, I mean... Yeah, but I think yeah. it's all this, uh, the illegal goods and the, the 8 billion, mil eight, sorry, 8 million pounds in business rates, that's what they're really worried about. Yeah, yeah, it's always the back.